We enter Vancouver Harbour under Lionsgate Bridge. We cross the float plane zone and make for Coal Harbour Marina, tucked under the shadow of towering buildings. What a contrast to our normal haunts of remote and uninhabited wilderness. We are allocated a tight but superb slip by the Fleming Yachts dealer. Our reason for visiting this lovely city of Vancouver is to meet up with a fellow passenger I had met aboard a Russian icebreaker on a trip to Greenland and the Canadian High Arctic in 2016. He and his wife are here with a group from Sweden for a cruise through the waters of British Columbia. Here are photos taken by Pele of us all, our ship and myself in Greenland in 2016. Here too, float planes land and take off on nearby waters. Their terminal is nearby, together with container and cruise ship docks. A path runs close by the marina and we are greeted by an excited group who tell us they're about to embark on an Alaskan cruise prompted by the scenes in my videos. A wonderful place to visit is bustling Granville Island Market, an amazing cornucopia of food and other goodies. From Vancouver we head south, passing the estuary of the mighty Fraser River, where we see a very strange ship at anchor. As well as some odd looking structures. Our next port of call is Point Roberts, one of those anomalies of history. A tiny patch of land, just five square miles in area, which is an isolated enclave of the USA, just because it falls below the 49th parallel. A pair of gulls perch alongside a plastic owl intended to discourage them. Here we officially cross the border and are treated to a fabulous sunset. Now back in the USA, we thread our way through the popular San Juan Islands and pass a group of seals on our way to our next anchorage where a gibbous moon hangs in the sky.
Continuing south on our way to Hunter Bay on Lopez Island, we see Mount Baker, almost 11,000 feet high. It is considered an active volcano, although it last erupted 6,760 years ago. This is our final night at anchor, and we awake to a spectacular dawn. We enter Elliott Bay Marina in Seattle on the morning of September the 8th and join a selection of Flemings from 55 to 78 feet for a gathering of actual and would-be Fleming owners. Several of us gave short presentations, including Chris to explain what you should always carry when in the tender. Here, Brian Coverley, owner of Delta Marine, has to compete with the powerful horn from a nearby cruise ship. We are just yards away from these behemoths. They arrive in the early hours of every morning and leave the same afternoon. A full moon hangs alongside the Seattle Space Needle. Our final engagement is at the Boats Afloat Boat Show held in Lake Union. To reach this location, we need to navigate the Lake Washington Ship Canal. The canal is roughly eight miles in length and was opened on the 4th of July, 1917. Although Venture has been through here in the past, this is my first time, and I find it very interesting. The transit starts with a lock, which raises you 20 feet into the freshwater lake. Seventy overall. The lock has floating bollards, which makes tying up very convenient.
The canal accommodates vessels of every size, from commercial boats to single skulls to large yachts. There are numerous lift bridges. This one has 44 feet clearance. Here is the first of several clusters of houseboats. This bridge has 30 feet clearance, which is sufficient for us, providing we lower the radio antennas. Clearance is hard to judge. This tug has a towering control station, allowing the helmsman to see over the top of barges he is pushing. We have reached downtown Seattle and the location for the boat show. Float planes land in Lake Union. Navigation is tight and it's easier to go astern especially as we have to tie up to our berth, stern two, alongside a Fleming 55. Venture is not here for sale, but she is a famous boat and can provide an example of what a well cared for 17 year old Fleming looks like after 71,000 nautical miles of cruising. The last evening of our 3,000 nautical mile summer cruise fittingly closes with a magnificent sunset. <laughs>